I'm glad to see you all made my lecture on SoCal media and scaring patients into treatments. First off, I'm a social media expert, my Facebook page has 170 likes and I have over 3,500 Twitter followers. I have seen your Twitter account you paid for those followers, and 170 likes, that's how much my dog has. Maybe I did pay for them, but I had to be an expert to figure out how to pay for them. Do you have a YouTube or Google Plus account? I have never heard of YouTube, and Google Plus is a rumor like Bigfoot. Anyways no more questions. By the way I blocked that jackass podiatry post on Twitter. Now for why you all came here to learn how to scare patients into treatments. Have you read my article about falls in the elderly on my website? The first trick to writing an article like that is to not include any facts, they just get in the way of the story. Second tell them they might die, for example if you do not buy this buy or freeze from me robots will attack you, it is also robot repellent. Try this the Arizona brace works for balance disorders because I say it does. What's funny is not even the company claims that, but I do. Or tell a patient how you have saved countless lives and found many other diseases by ordering more tests. Well how many have you saved or found? The answer is zero but notice you cannot count to zero. Does anyone have a clinical scenario for me? An elderly woman comes to you for an ingrown toenail what do you do? First I sell her formula 3 and do the laser on her. I scare her into a pad and nerve conduction test. Then I put her in a more balance brace. Do you ever remove the ingrown toenail? Maybe by the fourth visit if she comes coming back, normally my patients don't come back except to request records or call me a crook. But all those tests are how I keep in shape with my body. Do not forget to like me on Facebook.